Hi, welcome back to Angie's Pantry. I told you I was going to make a cheesecake for my brother, so I am. I'm going to bring you along and show you how I'm doing this. Let's get in a little closer, okay? Okay, first things first, we're going to make a graham crust. So these are all uh, honey made um, graham crackers. But you can buy any kind of graham crackers you want. All right, and my goal is to break them up. So I'm gonna put them in this baggie and just do just that, break them up a little. And I'm gonna use this first to break it up, you know, just kind of pound them down a little. You don't have to go crazy, just saying. The other ones in there. So that's three packages, one whole box. Alright, I'm going to stick it in here. This is my Tupperware Pro Chef. My oven's preheated at 375. That's that little beep you just heard. I don't want to overfill it. So I'm going to start it off with this first. I could have dragged out the food processor, but I think this will work just fine. Now I'm going to stick one, two, three, four, four teaspoons of butter in here. And that's just to mix it up better. And I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to do that and stick it in there and chop her up. Get it good and blended so that I can put this in the bottom of the pan and shape it and then uh, bake it for 10 minutes in the oven and then let it cool. Okay, so in the mixer, I'm putting in, because I'm making three batches, so I'm putting in three softened eight ounce uh, cheese. Cream cheese. And then I'm going to use uh, the KitchenAid attachment one that's got the whisk on it. At first I did not like it, but I like it. So we're going to mix that up, get that good and make sure there's no lumps in there. Um, when I'm ready to put my um, sweet milk in there, I'll bring it back. I'm going to use three little cans of that and then I'll be back. See how beautiful that is when you um, have it softened? It blends real easy. Alright, I'm going to let that blend for my beard. Okay, that's been blended enough and I scraped the sides. Now I'm going to add each one of these. This is a, a different brand that I'm used to using, but I hear it's really, really good, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to add all three of those cans in there. telling me it's time to take, get those uh, crust out of there. I'm going to blend this for a minute and I'll be right back. Alright, so while that's still mixing, I'm going to take this off and add that lemon peel in with that. This is what I do. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You can opt out of adding the lemon peel if you want. I just think it tastes wonderful when you add it. Now I want all that yumminess. And that's the lemon peel of three lemons, believe it or not. So while this is beating the lumps out, I'm going to add uh, pure vanilla, a teaspoon of that. 
and then a half a teaspoon. And then I've got lemon extract. Oops, that one's not open. Got lemon extract, and a teaspoon, and a half. Smells amazing already. Okay, so I'm still beating it until the lumps are out, but this is how much lemon juice I got of just the fresh lemon juice. So now I'm going to put in the rest with my concentrate lemon juice to fill up to two, three fourths of a cup. All right, so now we just got to get the lumps out. Once we do that, and once we have the lemon juice, that's your final step, and it'll be wonderful. My uh, hands are out cooling. Look how beautiful brown they got. So we'll just pour that over the top, and it's going to be amazing. Let it set overnight. So, all right, I'm going to get her going. Get those lumps out. Okay, the lumps are out. Pretty much. I'm going to slowly add the lemon juice. Okay, that's where you want it. Just like that. Try a little bite. Mm. I don't know if I like that or not. It tastes different. That's for sure. It's not as good as it normally is. Add some powdered sugar to that. Uh, half a cup. Okay, I'm adding in another uh, two-thirds of a cup of powdered sugar into the mix. Just because I think it needs a little bit more sweetening in there. And I'll stir that up. Make sure it's good and blended, and then we'll put it in uh, pans. Okay. I hit, forgot to hit the record button, so now I'm just putting them, I split it between the two pans. Spread it out carefully. And you're gonna let this set overnight. Top it with blueberries, strawberries, or don't even top it with nothing at all. And this is how you make a no-bake cheesecake. Real easy, isn't it? husband take that down put it in the refrigerator with the cover on it and voila we're done the better one always goes to the gas you know that or whoever you're sending it to now I will say that um, the sweet milk that I use this time sweetened can of milk is different I've never used that before so it's not as sweet as the carnation just letting you know. But it's good. I think that's why I had to add the powdered sugar to it. If you want some of the crust to show, you can. I'm sure. You see, I had lumps in there. I guess that's how you know it's homemade, right? All right, everyone. I want to thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.